Ladies and gentlemen, Guido from Anna Dialogue. Welcome, welcome, hello everybody. Welcome to the Hi-Fi Show. Yes, we finally made it. I have a pack load of stuff to present you. Amazing videos, amazing pictures. Thank you so much for participating. Actually, we had so many submissions that we're gonna do a double video. So this is the first part, and next week you're gonna see part number two. 22 presentations for each video. I had to exclude someone. There, really, there were really too many. I'm sorry guys, so don't be angry if you're not in the video. Perhaps in the next one one day. Okay, so let's start immediately. I wanna start with a fellow Italian, I find enthusiast, Daniele from Milan, Milano. And Daniele has a great man's cave, you'll see. Very cool and very colorful. Half between a record hi-fi store, I think, and an architect studio. I also told them this because it's really amazing. With books, records, frame records, CDs, a lot of strange little gizmos around. As we can see, he has. He gave me a lot of information here. JBL 4530, plus a JBL 2225H subwoofer, mid-driver JBL 2426J, plus 2370 horn. The tweeter is JBL 2404H, and the crossover is JBL 203110A plus 3105. Amplification, phono preamp from Fez Audio Gaia Mini. Preamp Rotel RC972, Raysung A102 power preamp, Ampron PSA2 power amp, Dayton A Audio DayTA1 power amp, and the turntable we have a Technics SL 1200 Mark V by Mr. 1200 with a special stuff equipped with ISONO audio isolation system and the cab uh, 1200 that I suggested him. Cartridge Nagaoka MP110. Streamer Premier MP5 Prisma. For the CD, SA CD and DVD player, the Den and DVD 3910. Two DACs, the Sheet Modi, the audio exclusive PO.8. He also has a tape deck, the Brown C301M, and a DJ console that you saw in the beginning with two Technics two different kinds, and also a mixer. Very, very cool, Daniele. Obviously, along all these videos, I'm gonna say a lot of hi-fi stuff, a lot of names, and I'm gonna butcher them. I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes. I'm gonna completely get them wrong. Your own personal names and also the hi-fi stuff. There's just too many things, okay, guys? So please be patient with me. Okay, let's proceed. Number two. We have Danny from the Czech Republic, although he is English, and he explains his own video. Let's see. Greetings from the Czech Republic. I'm English, but I live here. So I've only just got back into hi-fi during the COVID time. Prior to that, I had, well, MP3s for 17 years. So thanks to your channel and a couple of others and some blogs I've decided to get back into things so here's my modest system that I bought recently um, remember I, I live in a flat so I can't have <clears throat> anything too powerful from 1969 Pioneer SX 440 receiver from 1978, Philips 084 automatic and manual turntable. And I've just bought a new stylus from the Netherlands online. From 1982, Technics RSM206 cassette deck. Speakers are from 2020. They're German, they're Magnat. 
I also have a Bluetooth receiver which channels my FLAC library from my computer to my TV and into my system and I'm just buying records and tapes again. I do follow your channel and I have done for over a year and uh, I thought I'd enter my video uh, into your channel. So good luck and I hope you get lots of responses. Thank you. Okay, number three, Adriano. He's also from Italy and he also submitted a nice video where he explains everything. Let's see. Hello to everybody. This is my entry level hi-fi system. Here we have the main amplifier which is the Cambridge Audio A1 MK3 version 2.0 which is about a 100 to 120 euros amplifier and it's a very great one. Uh, it can even outperform much expensive amplifiers I think uh, because uh, even if the price is low the quality is very great although so it's a very great uh, UK amplifier made in the UK. Next we have the Topic D50S which is a DAC the digital to analog converter which basically uh, accepts all formats except MQA very great DAC. Uh, next to the DAC we have um, the Phonobox MM which is a phono preamplifier from my project the Boot Carbon with the Orthophone Stylus which is a great turntable for people that wants to start build a new Wi-Fi system on the cheap uh, this is my speaker, which is uh, the Acoustic Research uh, 8LS, AR8LS, which are 60 watts per channel speaker that were made in the 1980s for uh, people who listen to rock music mostly, so for young people, but you can listen to every kind of genre of music and it will play good on this speaker. Uh, next we have the, uh, down here, the Marantz CD752, which is a very great CD player. And on and the EQ, EQ70, which is an equalizer. Then we have the Topic L30, which is an uh, headphone of amplifier, which I use overnight to listen to music without disturbing the others in the house. And the last part is the HP Fin Client, which is a mini PC that costs about 20 to 30 euros that I use for streaming music online with Mobas, Tidal, and etc. I hope you enjoyed my hi fi system. Very nice, thank you. Position number four. Again, another video. Very nice, explained. Thank you, Alan. Go. Hi, Anna Dialogue, the Dialogue of Analog Music Reproduction. Today I want to present you shortly my stereo system. I listen mainly to stereo music. I'm not, I occasionally watch the movies. I'm not that into movies as I am with music. I know analog, but I listen to a lot of digital content. High res music files, occasionally listen to Tidal. Don't worry about the song. It's one I've composed in the past, so no copyright issues. So basically I'm using a Yamaha RN803 um, stereo receiver uh, and I use a little DAC to the FIO K3 to convert the USB signal from my PC to convert uh, to a coax input um, I, and as for the speakers Magnat Quantum 757 stand floor speakers audiophile ones uh, I'm kind of a bass head so I have one SVS PC2000 subwoofer 500 watts RMS and not one but uh, two <laughs> ported subwoofers down firing 12 inch it's kind of a jackhammer effect when high volume and uh, some isotech power cables to the subwoofer Sinitium and the premier from the stereo receiver uh, that's kind of it. I think it's all of it. I try to keep it short. Hope you like it. Bye Position number four we have a bunch of photos and They are come from Goa India From Denzel and he is mainly showing us his do-it-yourself Tannoy monitor gold 15s Amazing job. Wow. Congratulations on that one. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's proceed now with position number six. Anthony, he submitted a video and we're about to see Musical Paradise MP301 KM3 Integrated Amplifier with Maverick Audio Tube Magic D2 DAC. He has a Technics SL23 turntable with a Nagaoka MP110 moving magnet country, cartridge, a sheet money phono preamp, an Onkyo TAR301 cassette deck, a Klipsch R610F pair of speakers, the interconnects, I think, I believe, I suggest the SKW together with the speaker cable, I suggested the speaker cable, uh, he got it from AudioQuest, Toslink and coaxial cables for, it, for his Apple Airport Express 2. He has also a pair of Denon headphones, AHD5300, AKG K702 headphones, Hi-Fi Man HA400 headphones, also Sony MDR V6 headphones, and a YIS-5 Waypass passive switch very nice okay let's go back in Italy a lot of Italians I'm happy I'm glad about that grazie number seven Cataldo and he is showing us a nice picture where we can see this nice CD player the Bada HD 26 with an equalizer a Technics SHGE 66 plus an integrated amplifier by Denon the DRAF 109 and the speakers Albedo HL 2.2. Okay, next one up is Braxton from the USA. He gave us a nice video where we, I wanna read a few notes he wrote. Hello, my hi-fi system is a budget setup. I only have a turntable connected to the receiver. The turntable is a Kenwood KD2070 vintage turntable. The cartridge I use in an Audio-Technica AT 3600L with an elliptical replacement stylus from LP Gear. My receiver is a JVC RX888V where I just used the integrated phono preamp. Lastly, I have a Technics SBA53 floor standing speakers. And that's about it. Thank you so much, Braxton. Very nice. Okay, now let's proceed. We're going to France with Edgar, number nine, where we have in this photograph, the speakers audio reference 86, amplifier number one, Amarantz 4270, the second amplifier, a Yamaha CR3020, and a third amplifier, a Sansui 9500. The C player is a Marantz 5004, the turntable one is a Marantz 6300, turntable two is a TD145. Thank you so much, Edgar. As you have noticed, you guys, I'm terrible in saying all these numbers because I have my own Italian way and I get mixed up. I'm not saying it as English people do. So again, please be patient. Okay, let's continue now with a short video from Chris where he shows us his dragon and carry 300 say. Okay. Let's proceed now with number 11 with Andre from Romania. We have a picture where we can see an Unitrafonica GS464 turntable with a Grado Blue, an Ifi Zen Phono, and a Project RPM1 with an Ortofon Red, plus a TNT Do It Yourself Phono, a Ifi or Ifi Zen DAC a Despre 2 do-it-yourself preamp, a Rotel RB1552 amplifier, and a Visaton Vox 202 custom-made speakers. There's a lot of people with a lot of modified or do-it-yourself components. I like that, very cool, very interesting. Okay, let's proceed now with video with number 12 with Christopher, where we see a pair of speakers plus a sub by Sirwin Viga AT12SW plus a Pioneer SA608 amplifier together with a 
Unamco T1 turntable. And as he said, all this stuff is crammed into a small bedroom, but it works great, believe it or not. I do. Okay. Now we're going to Spain with number 13 with Enrique, where he has amazing speakers from BMW 603 with an amp by Cain CS100A, a nice Torrance 160 Mark II with an SME Arm 3009 and a HANA ML. Akvox Phono Preamp, Cranbridge Audio SXN V2 Streamer, a Gram Slee Era Gold 5 Phono Preamp, a Merantz 5013 Plus Center Speaker, I believe this is the uh, amplifier, plus four VM top speakers and a VM subwoofer 10 inch type plus an amp selector and a children electric fence, he said. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you, Enrique. Okay, now let's proceed to number 14 with Domenico. He submitted a video, unfortunately it's low quality, but the gear is fantastic and he is explaining everything. Go, Domenico. Hi, Anna Dialogue. This is, these are my Tannoy gold reference. Kuzma turntable with band Gullwing cartridge. Let's see. Lector audio, CD player with power supply. Lumin duck streamer, toroidal power supply. This is the power supply for the Lector phono. This, this one is to elevate. The, the band's cartridge, it's not in phono stage. And I go in the MM section of this, the, this clone of a condo preamplifier, and I have two mono uh, OTL uh, 80 watt single ended class A. The other one is down there. Okay, that was Domenico from Italy. Now we go ahead, number 15, where we have James plus his friend Bubbles. Let's see who's Bubbles. Okay, here we have a Riga Planner 2 turntable with an Audio Technica AT440 MLB cartridge. Speakers are Mission LX2. C player, CD player is a Technics model from the early 1990s. Amplifier is a Goodman's Delta from 1994 a Riga Phono Stage Move and Magnet Mark III. And, as I said, he also let his pet rat bubbles into the photo, but he said, don't worry, you guys, he isn't normally allowed anywhere near the hi-fi. Maybe that's a good idea, actually. Okay, now we have a, a very nice and quite long, but it's worth it, I think, video from Gregory from France. And he also wrote a nice note, which I want to read together along with all his amazing equipment. Okay, let's start. Hi, we are Greg and Kahina, an audiophile couple from Metz in the northeast of France. My main hi-fi is in my living room, and we are both music lovers and love going to concerts and collect vinyls. I use both a modern and vintage system, switching when I feel the taste. Very nice and very cool. I also got a nice headphone setup I like to use when teleworking. I have made these videos presented the main hi-fi and headphone system. Okay, let's take a look at the headphone system. So, we have... From the main computer, USB noise is filtered with a dedicated filter card. Fed with a linear power supply, USB signal goes to the Syncer SU6 USB reclocker bridge, then SP SPDIF coax to the Merantz HD DAC1. The main headphone amp is a Kain HA6A tube amp, which can take L34 tubes or KT88. Not bad at all. It has balance out impedance matching and triode or ultralinear switching. Very cool. My headphone collection are Kinnerturn Magni closed back. Great when outside noise blocking is necessary. Hi-Fi Man Aria, that I love the huge soundstage. Focal Utopia, wow, Gazawa, which is simply a fantastic pair of headphones and have great synergy with the Kain amp. I also made a do-it-yourself cable from the Utopia using Furtec connectors and Neotech OCC silver cables, very nice. 
Then he has this hi-fi system, modern and vintage. The modern one has, for speakers, the Focal Electra 1038BE2 with a beryllium tweeter, very nice. The DAC Shit B Frost 2 multi big DAC fed by a laptop serving as a rune endpoint. Preamp a Sheet Freya 6SN7 2 preamp with a NOS Sylvania chrome dome tubes. The amps are Sheet Aerir monoblocks, 80 watts class A ish, he says. Turntable, the Mofi Studio Deck, the recently released one, very nice, with an orthophone cadenza blue cartridge. The phono preamp is a Lehman Black Cube SA2. Excellent choice. The vintage system is mainly from uh, the 70s, from his father, where we have a pre preamp from the Marantz Model 33. Also an amp from Marantz Model 6 with 100 watts, double mono. Reel-to-reel -reel tape deck Akai, our first reel-to-reel. X330D, the cassette deck is a Sony TC204SD. And all this other fantastic equipment. Congratulations to all. Okay, let's proceed now to number 17. We're going back to the US with James, where he sends us a picture where he shows an audio physics spark speaker towers, clear audio concept wood turntable, and with an ARIA Mark III phono preamp, Arkham A49 integrated amp, an Oppo UDP203 4K Blu-ray player, very nice. Matrix Element X DAC streamer and a Sony PCM D100 portable DSD recorder. There we go. Okay, now number 18, we're going in Slovakia or Slovakia with Dominic. He has sent a video with, made out of pictures or maybe the video had some problems. In any case, we can understand his his stuff, I think it's nice. The speakers, Javian or Xavian Perla Exclusiva, which should be Italian. The Ahamp Hegel H90, nice. And the turntable, Riga Planner 3. Okay. Now we're going to one of my most present, I would say, subscribers. Good old Jingle Nuts, who is Joe from USA, actually. He sent some pictures where he made, actually, or somebody made for him, the six-way eight ohm custom built crossovers, iPad control, amazing speakers, huge, big, massive, as you can see, and a complete Yamaha 3000 set. Wow, beautiful. All binded together with Oyaide cables. Then up after that, we have number 20, we have a nice video self-explained by Giovanni from Italy. Hi, this is my FI system. Loudspeakers are Wilson Sabrina. Uh, preamp, amplifier and phono preamp are Bass Labs. Uh, the turntable, it's a Mitchell Orb with a SME 309 tone arm and an orthophone cadenza black cartridge. These are the wonderful mono step up from Angstrom Research, special edition for Audio Natali. And this is my power strip from Gigawatts. And the DAC, in the end, it's a Lector Digicode 704 All Balanced DAC. Thank you. Okay, number 21. Jim has sent us some pictures where we have a very sign of a little bit messy environment, but very nice, where we have a topping DAC, plus a Den SACD DVD audio Blu-ray player, a Tascam CD player recorder, a Parasound preamp, and a Marantz amplifier. As he says, the big sexy gray box is the two-track Otari reel-to-reel -reel deck, recommended by you-know-who. Very nice. The speakers are Polk LSIM 707S. I hope I spelt this right. On the left of my monitors is the four-track Akai reel-to-reel -reel recorder. Very nice, Jim. Thank you. Okay, for our last submission now, number 22 for this video, and then we're going to have another one next week. We have Guillerme, who sends us a video from San Paolo do Brasil. Okay, Guillerme where we have a fantastic turntable, a Gradiente DD100Q, JVC QL A2, with a cartridge Ortofon 2M bronze, a phono preamp by Cambridge Audio Alva Solo, moving magnet, 
and an amplifier by Gradiente, model 86, a Brazilian brand. Loudspeakers, Pioneer, SPFS52. Thank you all, and do not miss next week video, okay? Part number two is coming. Bye, guys. Well, guys, if you're enjoying my videos and you're enjoying my channel, please consider to subscribe by clicking the black and white logo here below. Also, don't forget to click the notification bell so you'll never miss an episode and you will become a true member of the analog community.